Welcome everyone to my weekly YouTube update. First and foremost, I want to wish all our Christian staff a good Friday and happy Easter and our Jewish staff a happy Passover. I decided to drop the formal tie look and replace this with my grey beard look. The grey beard is normally a sign of sophistication and, in and intelligence. You can decide later if I meet any of those qualities. My family just think that I'm having a bad hair day. I think last night's lockdown extension was a big blow to many South Africans and many of us experienced a bit of sense of humour failure. Can we be positive during this time? I think we rather need to remain optimistic. Positive is saying things that are good when they are not. Optimism is not the denial of reality. It's going to be hard now, but hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is no doubt that the leadership in South Africa has been very strong during this time. Let's just analyse the situation in South Africa, because if we look what's happening in the rest of the world, it is truly miserable and depressing. It seems that Europe and America have got problems at the moment far worse than ours. It is quite amazing how South Africa is unique in how it responds and reacts to this situation. Look at our crime stats down mostly 90%, no load shedding, government appears to be only focused on one cause without infighting and corruption, business has stepped up to the plate and offered huge support to government. It's much less about me and so much more about us. I'm not sure if anybody's watching those COVID stats, but we are definitely on the lower trajectory and do seem to have the support from the rest of the world. I am optimistic that through this, and with a bit of luck as well, South Africa may just be the place to be. With regard to MGI, I'm similarly cautiously optimistic. The one thing I do know is that we will come out of it. The unknown is when. This unknown means that the impact on everyone will in some way or another be negative. Our main goal at MGI is to reduce that negativity to as low as possible. For the entire week, we have been running scenario planning with the partners so that we are ready for any eventuality. Make no mistake, it could be mild, severe, or even extreme, and we are projecting for each of these cases. Please know one thing, is that you, our staff, remain our number one priority. We have tried to be in constant communication with all team members, and once again I want to thank you for all for making this effort to work hard remotely and use this time as productively as possible for MGI. There unfortunately will be no winners during this time, but know that every effort that you make helps our cause to keep the outcome of this crisis as mild as possible. On a personal note, I think we can all agree that there are so many challenges to this lockdown, but there are also so many moments of stillness and creativity. Health is our number one focus and we seem to be connected with those close to us more than ever. People have opened their eyes to online education and remote working. No more traffic and no more wasted time. Let's all remain optimistic and believe that optimism is the foundation of hope. Hope is what is going to keep us moving forward. Thank you.